Emerson High School in Oklahoma. From the outside appearance, it's safe to assume that this high school was probably more than a little outdated. Obviously in need of a few upgrades, the contractors were sure that the upgrades would positively affect education, but what they were about to discover would also affect history for the locals. Preserved calendar from December of 1917, after removing the current chalkboards, there was another set of chalkboards underneath. These boards had images and lesson plans that had remained hidden for nearly a full century. This strange multiplication table is proof positive that the educational system is ever-changing. This is unlike anything that I've ever seen before. Pledge of Allegiance from 1917, a simpler and more concise version than the one I grew up reciting, this pledge reads, I give my head, my heart and my life to my God and one nation, indivisible with justice for all. Turkey drawing and math, more strange math on the steps which is something that I am unfamiliar with. All of the Thanksgiving and Pilgrim drawings and lesson plans indicate that the boards were covered around the holiday. It's amazing how the drawing and lessons remained so well preserved for all these years. I would think that after a hundred years, the colors would have faded and everything would be hard to see. The care and effort that the teachers put forth is amazing to me. Hygiene was not a lesson that was off limits in the early 1900s. Cabin, ship, and the Plymouth Rock, it's pretty great that the teachers took the time to illustrate pictures to aid in the lesson plan. Forty years before the sound of music this scale is written on the board. Fifty years later, it's still stuck in people's heads. I'm going to assume that the calendar was changed from November to December and they left the November dates. Thanksgiving is still marked in red and the young girl with the turkey tells me the same. While this discovery is really cool for the people involved in the upgrade of the school, I sincerely hope that these chalkboards are able to be preserved and displayed. These are a valuable asset to the local history of Oklahoma and the nation as a whole, and deserve to be shared.